Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to revisit this question that I just worked on in the prior video where we proved that n plus 1 plus n plus 2 and so on up to 2n is equal to n times 3n plus 1 on 2. And if you've seen that video you'll know that the technique I used to prove that was basically using the rules around arithmetic progressions. Um, since that video the student who sent through the question um, clarified that this question is actually being asked in the context of induction. So actually the student needs to prove this result using induction rather than using say what we know about arithmetic progressions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another look but this time I'm going to show how we can prove the result using the steps of induction. All right, so here I've written up again what we need to prove, but this time noting that we're going to use induction. So in terms of thinking of the three steps of induction, um, the first step is to show that uh, the, in this case, the equality is true for n is equal to one, the first case. Um, now in this case, the left-hand side would be equal to, well, the left hand side is n plus 1 plus n plus 2 and so on up to 2n, but it's really n plus n. So, so basically n reflects how many items there are. So if we've only got one item, we're only up to here. We're just in 1 plus 1 territory. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So let's see if we get 2 with the right hand side. So the right hand side would equal to 1 times 3 times 1 plus 1 on 2 which would equal three times one is three plus one is four on two, which equals two, which does equal the left-hand side. So therefore we can say it is true for n is equal to one. Now step two is to assume true for n is equal to k. So in this case we'll have k plus one plus k plus two, and so on, up to 2k. But what I might do is quite deliberately just write that as k plus k. Um, and we want to say that's equal to k, 3k plus 1 on 2. And you'll see why in step 3, it's just that little bit more helpful to, to note this as k plus k rather than 2k as how it was written in the question. So now for step 3, where the hard work comes with induction, we want to show that this is true for n is equal to k plus 1. So in our case, we're going to insert k's, k plus 1 wherever we see an n in both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Um, it, might, it might be simpler to start with the right-hand side first because that's going to be simpler to do. And then we'll show that we can get the left-hand side to be equal to whatever we get with the right-hand side. So let's start by saying that the right-hand side would be equal to k plus 1 times 3 times k plus 1 plus 1 all over 2. So we just got to be quite careful with our brackets here. There's quite a lot of brackets going around. So that's going to be k plus 1 times 3k plus 3 plus 1 on 2. So that's... Um, uh, k plus 1 times 3k plus 4 on 2 and it might just help to expand this out so that's going to be 3k squared plus um, 4k plus 3k plus 4 all divided by 2 and uh, if I just come up a little there should be enough room just to write this as 3k squared plus 7k plus 4 all divided by 2. So uh, that's what we get for the right hand side. So now let's take a look to see how we can show that we get the same thing for the left hand side. So I'll, I'll turn over at this point. And for the left hand side I think the key is just to be really careful with how we write this out because wherever we see an n we want to put k plus 1 noting that n also represents the number of terms. 
So if, if we're going to have k plus 1, there's going to be an extra term that we tack on at the end. And we're just going to be quite careful of how we do that. So let's start. So we'll have k plus 1 plus 1 plus k plus 1 plus 2 and so on up to and then um, I guess uh, at uh, this point it's really n plus n which we can kind of think of if this is going to be the kth term because there'll be a k plus 1 term it's really k plus 1 plus k and then we'd have our final term k plus 1 plus k plus 1 that's kind of how you'd write it out and, and that's probably where some students might get a little bit stuck because um, you've, got to, you've got to think of the last two terms when you're thinking that now there's k plus 1 terms. So um, I guess the mistake might be to just, um, if you just kind of threw in k plus 1 only where you saw n, you'd, you'd be tempted to write 2 bracket k plus 1 and you'd get something slightly different to what we're going to get and that's probably where you'd get in trouble and that's why I was quite deliberate about saying it's k plus k so that then we can kind of put in a k plus 1 plus k and then add on after that our k plus 1 plus k plus 1 item. Um, so at this point I think um, we're really trying to now link this up to what we assumed in um, step two. So maybe what I might do is if I if I use red to kind of try and make this link, I might just underline in red all the bits that we had in step two. So there was a, a k plus one and then a k plus two and so on. And then we had a, um, a k plus k. So um, that's kind of all the bits that if we write, we can then use step two to equate it to what we assume to be true. And then we're left with all this other stuff. And maybe I'll use maybe black. Um, there's a whole bunch of plus ones. So we've got a plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. And that's going to happen k plus one times because we've got k plus one items. And then finally, maybe I'll use green. We've got this final almost leftover k plus k plus 1, just kind of hanging on the end. So what I might do is I'll write those out um, kind of all grouped together. So really what we've got is we've got our k plus 1 plus k plus 2 and so on up to k plus k. So just to be really clear, that's all the red bits that I've just underlined. That's them there. Then we'll have our plus 1 plus 1 and so on plus 1 and that there are all the, the black elements that I underlined and just noting there's k plus 1 of those and then finally we've got our plus k plus k plus 1 or we can just write that as 2k plus 1 and that was the green bit that I underlined. So now we can uh, bring that all together. So this first bit here that I've underlined in red, that we can link to step two to say, well, that's just k times 3k plus 1 on 2. So let's do that. Um, so that's going to be equal to k times 3k plus 1 on 2. And that's really the essence of induction. You're trying to link your step three to your step two. Um, and now we've got the rest. So we've got 1 plus 1 plus 1, k plus 1 times. So that's really just k plus 1. Um, and then finally our 2k plus 1 left over. And again, um, it takes a little bit of understanding to see why adding up 1k plus 1 times just gets you k plus 1. I mean, if you think about it with simple examples, if I added up 1 three times, I'd get 3. If I added up 1 10 times, I'd get 10. So if I add up 1k plus 1 times, I get k plus 1. And from here, uh, I think it makes sense to try and get a common denominator because um, that's, that's kind of what we're trying to show. Our right-hand side had this common denominator of 2. So let's um, do the steps to do that. So maybe I'll just expand this. So we'll get 3k squared plus k, and that's already over 2, plus 2k plus 1, plus 2, 2k plus 1, 
and that's now all over 2. So that's going to be 3k squared plus k plus 2k plus 2 plus 4k plus 2, all divided by 2. And so that's 3k squared plus, we've got 1k plus 2k plus 4k, so 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7, so plus 7k, and then 2 plus 2 is 4, all divided by 2. And let's just have a check. 3k squared plus 7k plus 4 on 2. 3k squared plus 7k plus 4 on 2. All right, so that is equal to the right-hand side. So therefore, this is true for n is equal to k plus 1. So our final inductive step, which I will just write as by induction, and then we get to conclude um, what we're trying to prove. So n plus 1 plus n plus 2 and so on, all the way up to n plus n, or 2n if you want to write it that way, is equal to n times 3n plus 1 on 2. So n times 3n plus 1, all divided by 2. Click, boom. So there you have it, that's how you answer that question, or, or show this proof by induction. Now if you take a look at the amount of working we had to do, um, you know, naturally you wouldn't actually prove this by induction if you were given the choice because if we go back to how I proved this originally when I didn't realise this was an induction question, using our arithmetic progression knowledge, it's a much quicker proof and you get to the same place. So um, really, I guess the reason why you might find a proof like this in a section on induction might be when you're first learning about induction and you're often given fairly simple results to try and prove, things that you don't necessarily need induction to prove, but it's just a way of finding um, examples to practice with. So I suspect that's what this really is, it's just an example to kind of practice these three steps or four steps really of induction, um, just in almost a safe place um, with results that we already know are true and that we can almost independently verify with other methods. And then naturally what happens is you start to, I guess as you get more comfortable with induction, you start to get presented with questions where actually induction is the main method that you'd need and sometimes probably the only method to be able to prove things. Uh, and that's where the technique really becomes quite valuable because as a tool, induction really opens up a whole lot of results that we can now prove that perhaps would have been very difficult or even impossible to prove otherwise. Um, so there you have it for that question. Hopefully you're able to follow along with all that. I think the key was really around this left-hand side being super careful and also really understanding what you're dealing with. I think um, a lot of students might get caught up at this 2n, um, kind of not really appreciating that the n is not only in each term, but it's also the count of terms. So that when we make it n is equal to k plus 1, we're adding on a k plus 1th term and that's kind of... Um, the key to all of this. Yeah, so there you have it, tick boom.